It's all going on. Oh, you have to burn yourself. My agent's office, you see, the phone's ringing just for me. The whole time. <laughs> so you're busy, busy, busy. <laughs> I know, it's not really Big Germany. top coming up. Big top, set in a circus, a defunct circus. It's a cross between, I don't know, Vicar of Dibley, Heidi High, in a tent. Hi, Marks. <laughs> Get set. <laughs> Go. No, I've never no, done anything in five minutes in my life. Really? Just to let you know that. Shove it in quick. Okay. Matron. <laughs> <laughs> The battery that is, right? Of course. Right, do you want to say it on your marks, get set, go. On your marks, get set, go. What makes you laugh? You're a bit of a giggler. I am a giggler. Um, I tend to absorb comedy, so often when I'm watching stuff that's supposed to make me laugh on the telly, I won't laugh at it because I'll be absorbing. I like to kind of watch funny things happen to people, you know, like falling over in the street, that kind of stuff. <laughs> I know it's really cruel. Although I really do love the in-betweeners at the moment, which is this thing that I've got into very late. Everyone else knows about it. It's brilliant. Let's see if we can get a laugh a minute. Okay. It's quite a pressure, okay? I want to hear the giggle, you see. <laughs> oh, okay. Make now, me laugh, I, go on, no are, pressure. You, are you more of a going out sort of person or do you like to stay in? Oh, um, I suppose I prefer to stay in. I, when I do go out, I go out big. But I love staying in and watching. I'm a loving watching telly person with a glass of wine and a takeaway. And do you love the glitzy, glam lifestyle? I love... Getting dressed up, getting given a beautiful dress and shoes and stuff, normally to borrow loads of jewellery, getting everything done, getting out of the car, walking out the red carpet. If I could walk out of the door and through and out to the other end and into Burger King or somewhere, <laughs> I'd be in heaven. So do you enjoy fame? Yes. You always really wanted to be famous, yes. is that true? I, well, I wanted, I, did, I wanted to work. The, the whole celebrity thing is not a thing that was part of our culture in my era during the 70s and 80s. It's only now that it's become like uh, everybody wants to be famous kind of thing. It is a byproduct of what's happened to me. But when I was an actress, I just always thought, I just want to work. Now I'm really enjoying fame. So is it true that you did an Oscar acceptance speech in front of the mirror when you were about nine? Well, this is the, this <laughs> is the really weird thing, is that I changed it to Oscar acceptance speech because I didn't think anyone would understand what I was actually what I actually had planned, which was there used to be a magazine called Look In, and on the back page they used to interview a celebrity. And I had all my questions prepared for when that moment came that Look In would come and ask me my questions. And I changed it to Oscar speech because I thought, no one's going to know what Look In magazine is. And plus, at nine, I didn't even know what the Oscars were. Still a chance of an Oscar, of course. Darling, there's a chance of an Oscar till <laughs> I actually pop my clogs. Look at Judy Dent, she didn't make it in Hollywood till she was in her 50s. I'm way off that. Do you, do you way off that? Do you, do you, oh, there was another giggle. <laughs> do you feel you're getting better and better as an actor? Um, oh, I don't, I don't. Do you feel yourself improving? I can feel there's more confidence and I can feel there's less uh, tension with, um, I think that you care so much about what people think about you as you, when you're younger and now I've kind of really got the skin of a rhino and I've learned so much through good and bad during my career that I actually... I have one kind of thing, which is actually my husband's work ethic, which is, if you don't enjoy it, don't do it. And I'm in a fortunate enough position to be able to ask that question to myself every day. So do you feel you've relaxed into your own skin yeah. a bit? totally relaxed into my own how do very you... taut skin. It's <laughs> <How do> you... <laughs> <laughs> so another one. How do you learn your lines, Amanda? Do oh, you... I'm dead quick at learning lines. Are you? Really, really quick. I've almost got a photographic memory. My mum says, you were born to be an actress, Amanda. Because even when you were doing amateur dramatics, <laughs> you knew your lines and everyone else's. I literally just look at my line, hold it like that, go down the page like that, switch, learn it. I can do it really fast. That was quite a good West Country accent. I know, that's where we're from. I want to ask you a little bit about accents, actually, whether you can do some for me. Okay, Are you yeah. any good at them? Can you do an American accent? I can do an American you accent, You may be honey. breaking America right now. I'm, I'm, you know, I am now the <laughs> USA correspondent for CBS, and, uh, but they obviously like me because of my cut glass accent, not my American <laughs> accent. Tell me about uh, a French accent. Do me a French accent. Well, the thing is with the French is that it is, um, how do you say, it's, uh, it's quite a sexy accent and it immediately makes you sound a little bit more mysterious and... Um, quite sexy. Sexy. Yeah. Which obviously I'm not any of those things, so maybe I should be French more often. Are you sporty? Yes. I loved, I was in the netball team at school. I ran the London Marathon last year. I was going to say, I'm training. four hours and something? Four hours, 13 minutes, 22 seconds. I was really pleased. Even Gordon Ramsay went, that was effing good. <laughs> Can you eat what you want? 
Um, yeah, I'm vegetarian, so by default, I think I stay slim because I'm not eating loads of meat. But I do eat most things. Um, but I exercise. I think that is the key thing. Now, I hate gyms. I just run. You were once on the wrong end of the tabloids. Do you think yeah. that celebrities' private lives are fair game or not? Is it all part of the package, or it's do you think there's a line that shouldn't be crossed? I think there's a there's. It depends, really. I think there's an argument for both sides. Obviously, you know, my wedding's been in OK magazine. Um, and at the same time, I sued Express newspapers a few years ago for intruding on my privacy. So I can't, you have to weigh it up. I won't be able to sue them again for lack of privacy because I, they will argue that I've given my wedding rights away. So it depends how much you court them. Sometimes I court them, sometimes I don't. The things where they cross the line with celebrities and in my life is if they photograph me when I'm with my daughter. And that really pees me off because they followed me to her nursery. And to oh. me... Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> All that aside, yes. this is slightly cheating again, but are you are you happy now? Oh my god, I, I have, let me, is that four mic or wood? That's, I think it might be wood. There's some wood in there. I this am... is a high quality set, well it's not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's another laugh, I, I think really that's five. Happy. Yeah. You're really happy. I'm very happy, I'm very blessed. I'm. It's one of those lives though where you think, oh god, please don't let anything go wrong because it's all going well. Really nice to see so you. It's so nice really to meet nice you. Bit of a sweaty handshake, sorry. <laughs>